It is so good to be back in the Rhone Valley, famous for its great wine. Valence is one of the most lively towns in the valley. It has a Provencal feel with many outdoors cafes and restaurants. I enjoy dining at the atmospheric Bistro d'Eclair for a traditional French meal, but also to discover a new Côte du Rhône red wine. This Corona appellation from the Rhone Valley is made with 100% Shiraz and it is just an exceptional wine. And I know this is a wine that lots of Australians would love. A few hundred meters from the bistro, on a steep part of town, I am taken by Jean Chana, a local wine lover, to discover an attractive small vineyard planted 20 years ago to celebrate the region's outstanding wine history. These vignes sont travaillées par les anciens de la Cave de Tain. C'est un groupe de retraités qui vient se distraire pour euh, élaborer ce beau produit. Donc on a un petit vignoble de 500 pieds où on produit un vionnier excellent. Alors le vionnier en tant que vin, c'est un vin assez sec, moelleux quand même, et très agréable à boire. The production is small, the proceeds go to charity, and I was told that only special people can taste it. I agree. This Viognier is really a unique wine. À votre oh, santé. Oui. Merci. This white asparagus salad with walnuts and watercress is a superb entree. I first cook some peeled white asparagus in salted boiling water until just tender. I then drain it on kitchen paper. White asparagus are more delicate if the tip is not overcooked. Next, in a bowl, I place a little salt and pepper, some raspberry vinegar, some lemon olive oil, and mix well, before adding some baby tomato, radish slices, and some walnut pieces. I place a few leaves of watercress on plates. Top with the asparagus and the dressing. Garnish with some small rosette of whipped crème fraîche and a few edible flowers. These asperges blanches au noix et cresson make a magnificent vegetarian entree. My next gourmet discovery takes me to the restaurant Flavor in Valence to meet Baptiste Poineau, a talented young chef with a great future. Baptiste's food is an excellent example of what modern French food has become. He doesn't have a menu, and his dishes appeal to gourmets of this generation. On a la chance d'avoir une région fantastique. On est au milieu d'un jardin avec le euh, premier département français euh, bio, donc de légumes, de fruits. Euh, on a les premiers petits pois, les premiers manchetous qui arrivent au niveau local. Moi, je travaille vraiment dans la spontanéité, dans la fraîcheur. J'ai un engagement quotidien qui est de vraiment me travailler avec les produits qui vivent autour de chez nous. Each dish is colorful with the vegetables, greens, herbs and flowers playing a role as important as protein foods. Everything looks harmonious and light. The richest but hardest to resist dish is the cheese platter, composed of classic European fromage and a section dedicated to a local cheesemaker. The brilliant dessert is composed of the ring of the great Valrhona Manjari chocolate served with delicate mousses and ice cream. A heavenly taste of Latour. Tomorrow I will be in the Lozère region, famous for its great meat. <laughs>